about two years ago, I was walking around uptown and I saw a man playing glasses with pencils. And I was absolutely intrigued. And so I started filming him because I was looking for a short subject for just a very tiny documentary, just something to have fun with. Busk is street performance, that's what it is. And after meeting him and filming him on the street, I met more buskers. So now I've got a singer that I've met. Now I've got someone who's out here doing magic. And in befriending them and in filming them, I started realizing all of the things that they dealt with day to day. Uh, things, issues with audience, when people would pass by, sometimes they would get heckled. Sometimes they would get lots of money, you know, 20 and a hat. And other times they would be hassled by law enforcement. And um, so I decided that it was time to take a look at the, the things they dealt with and that kept them off the street sometimes so that people had more of an opportunity to come out and to show their art to Charlotte on the street. Um, it's free to come out. You are free to come out on the street anytime you want and ply your, your art, whether it's painting, whether it's dancing, you can do whatever you like within certain laws. And therein uh, was the, the impetus for the project, is helping people understand what those laws are and helping law enforcement understand that buskers, street performers, are out here just trying to get their art out to the world and trying to get an audience for it and maybe use some tips. My name is April Denae and my film is Busk. So let's do Edward. You saw, let's do that one. Yeah, that one's really, that one's, I really like okay. that one. over on Trade and Try On. The other good spot is where people are buying the fruit, you know, the tent, um, and people can hear you when they're buying fruit, and then they use the chains that they bought fruit with to put in your case. I really like that corner. <laughs> and when they do, don't and you. I've actually never made this little on a Friday. Last Friday, I made $80 in two hours. Before I came here, I was busking in Seattle. Um, like near Pike Place Market, they actually talk to you and stuff. Um, they you know, ask me my name, like what I'm doing there, and uh, where you know I go to school, and if I go to school. Um, what kind of music I like, and um, ask me like what I'm doing. Here, people, everyone ignores you. Or I mean, if they don't ignore you, they put money in and like run away as fast as they can. Thank you so much. People just don't really know how to react. 